Hey guys, welcome to my channel Among Stouts. If you are new to my channel, my name is Samantha and I am a new homeschooling stay-at-home mama of four kiddos. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys all about Gather On Homeschool Botany Unit. So if you are new to my channel, we like to do the unit studies from Gather On Homeschool. We kind of pick and choose which ones we want to do and then we do them at our own pace. Um, we do not do a new study every month. It kind of tends to be about every two, um, sometimes three months when we do a new study. Uh, we are currently in the middle of Ancients. We're almost right in the middle of that one. So I have actually already printed and prepped and gotten the books for the Botany unit, which is going to be our next unit um, here in our homeschool. Uh, it is currently the very beginning of May and we have intentions of homeschooling through the summer and just kind of um, doing a year-round homeschooling journey. So uh, I think that we will dial things down quite a bit as my kids start to finish off some of their core curriculum. Uh, we don't use Gather on Homeschool as our core or the spine of our um, homeschool, but we do like to add it in as a little extra. Um, we have fun with it. That's why we pick out the units that we want to do. We haven't done all of them, and I don't think we will do all of them, um, but we are having fun with the ones that we cho do choose to do. So I will go ahead and show you guys what I have printed out from them. Uh, Normally, I would print these out and bind them using my ProClick system, um, but these units were actually too big. Uh, the teacher's guide and these student books were too big for the spines that I have um, for my ProClick. And I put these in a binder before I purchased like uh, coil spines so i do have the ability to bind bigger books up now um, by using the pro click hole punch and then using uh coil binders that i can just you know spin through but i didn't have that when i did these so i just went ahead and put these in binders and it's totally fine it's not a big deal um it'll work out just fine so first i have my teacher's guide here and then I recently, as of the Ancients unit that we're in now, moved my youngest who was in pre-reader, I moved her up to early reader. So that's hers. And then I do need to move my other two kids up as well, but I figured that I would just go ahead and do these last few units with them in the current levels that they're in. And then uh, next school year, if we do um, any gather on units, then my nine-year-old daughter will go into the upper, upper elementary level and then my son who's 11 will go into the middle school level um, but for right now my daughter has the early elementary and then my son has the um, upper elementary and just like with all of my gather on homeschool videos i am going to share with you guys the books that we have that we're pairing with the with these units so on top of those books, I also printed out, um, we are using the Ancient Civilizations version of this, and so that's the first time I've ever printed these out, um, but my kids have been enjoying that one, so I went ahead and did it again for Botany, but these are for my older two kiddos. I printed out the um, Botany cursive for them, and so they will work through these along with the units, and um, that's all I have for the books. So as far as readers go, I will list down in the description the video that I did on um, our spring like fun units that we were adding to our homeschool. We have been doing some fun activities and reading fun books about bees as well as gardening. And I already had a handful of books on gardening and so I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of extra books to go with botany, but I wanted to still get my kids a couple of readers. Um, to pair with this for us to read together and let's see I got one read aloud and then one one chapter book for each of my older kids and then just some smaller picture books for um, all of us to look at so the read aloud that I got for us is where the red fern grows and this is this will be our read aloud for um, while we're doing this unit and I, I think most people have read this book, so I won't bother with re with reading the back of it. Um, but here's a quick little, if you want to take a screenshot of it and read it. 
but this is a really good book and so I'm excited to read that with the kiddos and then I got of mice and men and then I got Lee Lun lad of courage and these books uh, and when I'm picking out books to pair with these units I'm actually going based off of gather rounds book list uh, I just go and I pick a couple of books from what they recommend. They uh, used to just have like a pretty big list that separated, separated out by level, but now they're kind of separated by lesson. So under each lesson, there's um, book recommendations for each level. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't really pay attention to that much. I just go and look on there to see what the books are. I look them all up on Amazon to see what they're about and then... Um, that is how I choose what to pick. And so the last two books that I got that I know that my little six year old is going to love and we're just going to all look at these and read these together. Um, the first one I got is Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. Really cute book. And then I got A Seed is Sleepy. So that's really, really cute. Um, and there's quite a few like books that um, are by this author that are really cute like this and I have them on my Amazon wish list so I feel like as we approach those um, units I'll get the books but the next one that I want to get is um, a butterfly is patient or something like that anyways it doesn't go along with this but if you look up this book just know that there's a few I think four or five other ones that are really cute that are um, by the same author and really cute like this Okay guys, so that's all that I have to show you as far as what books we are using for botany as far as the student handbooks, the teacher guide, and the cursive, as well as the books that we are using to pair with the unit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around and show you guys a quick flip through of the teacher's guide. And um, I'm only going to do the teacher's guide in this video, but if you are wanting to see the student books as well, you can definitely go onto their website and look at these sample pages or if you really want to flip through let me know that in the comments and I will be more than happy to go ahead and uh, film some extra flip throughs for you guys so that you can see that too but just let me know uh, so without further ado let's go ahead and turn this camera around and flip through the teacher's guide
you have it guys that is the flip through of the gather around homeschool botany teachers guide i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and gotten an idea on if whether or not the gather on homeschool botany unit is um, something that you want to do in your homeschool or maybe you got some new ideas as far as books for you to read um, or for you to use as readers for your kids in your homeschool so if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit subscribe i'd love to have you here as a part of my community and also if you aren't already following me on instagram please go ahead and go follow me over there it is among that stouts and i will see you guys in the next video bye